In addition to configuring and using software inside of a Linux environment, it's important that you're also familiar with the hardware components that Linux contains as well. Basically, just how to recognize hardware and understand how Linux stores hardware settings and references. So that way, when you need to access it, you know exactly where it's at. So we're going to take a few minutes and talk about BIOS settings. BIOS is definitely an important part to any configuration of any operating system. We'll talk about gathering information about your existing hardware, taking a look at the existing peripheral configuration and placement on the file system. We'll talk about some of those communication devices, such as serial and parallel ports. And we'll also talk about storage devices and viewing the settings for those appropriate individual device files. And finally, we'll talk a few moments about plug-and-play devices, basically just discovering what plug-and-play devices are in the Linux world, as well as where they exist and how you might configure them. The Basic Input-Output System, or BIOS, is a pre-operating system control and configuration feature that's built into the motherboard of nearly every computer. And basically, it handles some very low-level and simplistic hardware information and configuration. In the older environments, it actually forced you to go in and plug the hard drive geometric features in so that the host operating system would accurately recognize the drive. Those days have come and gone, and nowadays our BIOS should automatically detect and configure our hard drives for us. In addition, any integrated devices such as sound cards, network cards, video cards, any integrated peripheral devices will be controlled by the BIOS. And we can also verify through the BIOS that our individual settings have been enabled. So we'll just take a quick look at an example. We're going to reboot our machine. It'll take us just a few moments to actually reboot. And when the system goes down, I'm going to go ahead and go into the BIOS, and we'll take a look at some of the available hardware configuration options. So this is our Phoenix BIOS setup utility. And this allows us to kind of navigate through and take a look at our existing setup. As you can see here, our secondary master drive is an IDE CD-ROM. And we can see 32-bit input-output mode is one of the settings that's available to us. So there's actually several different configuration options here. Now notice we do not have a primary master or slave drive configured, which makes it appear as though we don't have a hard drive. We're actually using a SCSI drive instead of an actual IDE drive. Here you can see configuration options for our floppy drives. We can also take a look at keyboard configuration and features that are set up such as numlock on auto, auto repeat rates, real low level hardware control options. In addition, we can look at some other pieces, input output device configuration, which are our integrated peripheral devices. We've got serial ports, the modes that they run in, parallel ports, our floppy disk controller. So as you can see, there are actually many different options available to you just in the BIOS alone before you even get to the operating system. So a very common step in troubleshooting, especially if you're not sure if the device has ever worked, is to check the BIOS to make sure that it's enabled.